Hi guys, this is Mike and this will be a shootout between five different freeze pedals, sound retainers, sample sustainers, uh, a lot of different names for the same thing basically, right? You know, in this video I will try to give you a lot of sounds, we'll check out the sound differences between these pedals, but uh, please note that I will not go into a lot of detail about what these pedals can do. There are so many possibilities on these bigger ones, right? This video would be two hours long and I really don't want to record that long. I already made a video with the two TC electronic units and I made a video with the three electro harmonics pedals where I go into much more detail. So yeah, let's get on with it. This is the clean sound. Let's start with the deep freeze. Okay, now let's do the same thing on the TC Electronic Mini Infinite. Now the original electroharmonics freeze. And now the Electromonic Super Ego. Right, so as you can tell, the electroharmonics uh, pedals sound pretty much the same. Let's actually overdo the effect. Let's set it to three o'clock on all of these pedals. And we'll also play a little bit with the times, the fade in times and the decay times. Attack, let's set it to 12 o'clock. Okay, and the effect should be on three o'clock on all. Right, let's see how that sounds like.
Okay, let's actually turn the level on both of these TC electronic units to maximum. Uh, the other thing I want to show you that some of these can do is the GLIS function, which is pretty cool, um, which basically morphs the first layer into the second one, right? It's kind of like a special effect, but it sounds pretty cool. There's no way, of course, to do that on the OG freeze. And as far as I can tell, there's no way to do that on both of the TC electronic ones. Should sound exactly the same on the Super Ego Plus. You can go really long. I'm just going to show you that on the deep freeze, but you can do really spacey stuff. Let's go to maximum, which is a couple of seconds, I think. Right, so that's cool. It basically morphs your first layer into your second layer. There is no such function on the TC electronic pedals. What this pedal can do, however, is that you have three different slots for your tone prints. Uh, you can download tone prints from other people um, or create your own with the app that TC Electronic provides, but you can also, well, this pedal comes loaded with free. Let's quickly check one out. Right, so the first one was, I think, delay or something, and the second one was definitely a flanger. Uh, I turned on the reverb in the middle there, as you could hear. The cool thing about this thing is you can uh, have your own effects in the effects loop. So if you have a phaser that you like very much and you want to use it uh, on, the, on the layer, you can use the effects loop there, the send and return. The same is true for the Super Ego, it gives you the option with the send and return to incorporate your own effects. But of course, this pedal also has a lot of effects built in. Let's quickly try that out. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I like the filter setting here, for example. Uh, let's engage that. Let's see what happens. <laughs>
Right, so that's basically pretty cool. It comes loaded with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different effects. Uh, some pretty spacey ones as well. If you connect, an, for example, an expression pedal, uh, you can choose the knob that you set up with your expression pedal. I would definitely go for the rate. Then I could do really cool stuff with that. Let's quickly try another one, tremolo. tune yeah so there's a reason they call it a multi-effect because it definitely is but of course you pay the price for that this is definitely the most expensive pedal in the shootout one thing to note that i also very much like about this pedal the super ego plus here is as you can see you have an output and a return right so usually this would be as we uh, mentioned before this would be for your external effects if you wanted to connect your favorite phaser or something but you can also use that to split your signal so maybe you have a stereo amp setup going on and you want one side to be perfectly clean just your direct guitar you can use the output jack for that and on the return would only be the layer that you just looped or uh, sustained right so that's another pretty cool uh, feature on this pedal and that's why i'm totally sticking with uh, the super ego plus i'm going to keep this i'm going to send this back one thing about the tc electronics ones i'm sorry i don't like them really i have to be honest here i'm sorry if you maybe are a an owner of one of these pedals but to me they sound pretty you know uh, like washed out they sound plasticky fake somehow i think the sound quality of the sustained signal is way better on all three electro harmonics units uh, if you just want a simple one layer effect definitely go for the og for the free sound retainer first of all it looks beautiful <laughs> in my opinion if that's important to you i really like the teal uh, graphics here and all that stuff it sounds perfect it sounds really nice of course it doesn't give you as much options as uh, either the deep freeze or the super ego plus but then it is one of the cheapest pedals in the shootout right and yeah so that was basically it guys i hope you liked it i'm sorry if i didn't go into all the features but uh, I didn't want this video to be like two hours long. And yeah, but I think you got a pretty good idea about the sound differences there. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye. With two eyes.